Hello guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Sash, if you're new here, hello, how are ya? Sorry about the noise. I am going to be shooting this with all the windows open because it is very, very hot and I have the fan going. So if there's a lot of noise, I'm sorry, but it's summer and I'm boiling. But I had an audition today and I was still wearing makeup and I was like, why not just film this? Because I was going to film it this week anyway. So the point of the video, as you can tell by the title, I'm going to be talking about the food sensitivity tests, the order of rec reactivity that your body has told you no don't have that food anymore i've been feeling really sick in my gut and having issues with bowels and all that delicious fun stuff that's to do with digestion and it was getting too much and enough and i've been to lots of different people and i have been finding the most help with my naturopath so praise be to my naturopath and yeah i just thought i would talk you guys through what it uh entails what i had to go through like through to get the result and yeah we'll go from there i wanted to premise uh this video as well by saying i don't have any expert advice on this i am obviously not a naturopath i have gone to a naturopathic doctor for this advice if food or food chat is triggering to you at all click off this video now i yeah i don't have any issues personally with food related uh, mental illness and body dysmorphia or anything like that and my heart goes out to people that do but personally I've never had any issues with my body or food in that regard so I don't want to cause any pain or any extra trauma to anyone else so please don't watch this if it will be triggering for you just a disclaimer alrighty I think it was the first time I met my naturopath that we did the test so basically she took a vial of my blood and sent it to Calgary, Alberta, to get the RMA FST I, IgG food sensitivity test. So that's what it's called. So this is a test that only uh, specific medical practitioners can order. My GP was going to get the, I guess, I don't really know the word, the rights to be able to do this then send my blood and do it herself but the naturopath um she already had the licensing or whatever to do that it cost 300 dollars. i got 120 foods tested within my blood and uh see if there's a description of it at the front uh the date of collection was the first of june the date um it was reported on the 8th of june and then it took maybe another week to make it back to vancouver yeah it basically puts your foods or what your blood finds reactive into different categories. There are numbers next to the foods that they have listed, but that doesn't, that's not on a scale of like, one is the most, 50 is the least. I don't really know what the numbers mean. I believe it's in the booklet. It's about a five page booklet that I got. Yeah, there's basically green, yellow, and red foods. So I'm going to read out my order by reactivity report for you guys. So in the red section, Brazil nut, venison. I don't think I've ever eaten Bambi in my life, so not sure why that was there. Brazil nuts, I would have them in a trail mix once in a blue moon. So for me, it was very strange to see those two foods in the most reactive because I don't really eat them every day at all. My naturopath explained that there's some sort of compound or chemicals or something within, I mean, the certain protein or whatever in the venison slash what's going on in the Brazil nut that would match up with another food. So it's about finding out what that one is basically and seeing what it matches up with, if that makes any sense. So under borderline foods, I have a few. Egg white, milk in brackets, sheep, pea, mustard seed, milk, cow in brackets, uh, Casein, wheat, soybean, barley, yeast, brewers in brackets, and pistachio. And then everything else is in green, whether it be legumes, um, herbs, things like that. So from this information, uh, we had a discussion and for two months I have to eliminate those yellow foods pretty much because I don't eat the red uh, out of my diet completely for two months. After two months, you introduce things one at a time to see if anything causes me to react in the ways that have been causing me grief over the past seven months. Constipation, painful bloating, gas, um, yeah, 
that's pretty much it like I wasn't able to do it my jeans it literally looked like I had a rock hard pregnant belly like eight months pregnant and I've never had troubles with my bowels at all was always a regular gal and yeah it just got to the point where I'm like this is not normal my diet really hasn't changed at all I don't like I honestly can't think of anything that I've added or subtracted from my diet for this to happen so it was a bit of a shock when all these issues started happening mainly around March onwards so it's probably a combination of a lot of things sorry I'm sweaty I'm going to be doing this properly so I figure out what the key players are dairy I already knew dairy I discovered on my own I turned 18 and suddenly milk just didn't agree with me so I cut out milk from my coffee started having it black and then I introduced almond milk and things like that later on and that was my own personal choice because I just knew that it created this like coating and I did a lot of singing and especially with my acting degree it just wasn't good for my voice and throat and when I was performing I just didn't have dairy because it literally made me cough up phlegm it was disgusting, disgusting. I know if I have a, a grilled cheese sandwich or pizza that I will feel sick because of the cheese and I've just sort of accepted that if I have a charcuterie board I know that the brie is gonna make me feel ill not as ill as yellow cheese but I know that it's dairy if that makes any sense so always been a bit like on the fence with dairy so it makes sense that's in there uh, the one of the foods called casein is a protein only found in lactose I think or milk something I'll put it up there because I have no idea she did explain it to me I don't remember everything else was just like oh okay I really have to think about what I'm eating now which I've never had to do before luckily like I've just no known allergies yeah milk doesn't really go with my vibe cheese etc so cut those out but like I still have Greek yogurt because that was fine but wheat like barley all of that I you know it's just in stuff so now I'm reading all the labels my camera battery is flashing dead so anyway stay on this journey with me I will let you know how it goes basically I introduce one food group at a time and see what gives me those painful symptoms and I really hope that I'm not uh, have issues with wheat and soy because it's in everything but I am basically having all meat all fruit all veggies I can have corn oats uh, rice and that's sort of how I'm getting through with the carbs um, but yeah it's been a fun journey I feel amazing so far and I will let you know if this works out in my favor I'll keep you guys up to date if you want to know more please let me know down in the comments if you want me to I guess probably show this journey and the meals that I'm eating uh, sorry that I'm speed running through this but my camera is gonna die love you guys so much thank you so much for watching again and yeah I hope to see you in my next video bye